Yo, what's good with y'all boys? Today I'll be teaching you how to do this effect right here. Alright, bet. So, first what you want to do is you want to get your two transition clips. I have these clips from the Little Tekka new music video. So, here's what it looks like. And it's going to transition to this clip. So, first what you want to do is you want to take the work area start push it to here and then you want to take the work area end and push it to here now what you want to do is you want to go to file export add to render queue then you want to go to high quality format png sequence that's okay then you want to change the name of the export to frame one then press save then click render all right so that's gonna be your first frame and then you want to go to the last frame the start of the last frame and drag the work area to right here so this is the only thing that's being rendered then you want to go to file again export render queue then follow the same steps high quality format png sequence that's okay and then now what you want to do is you want to change the name to frame two instead of frame one and then click render all right all right best so now that you have two frames rendered you want to go into your browser and type in numa ai and then this is the first thing that's gonna pop up. You wanna click it, and then you wanna click try now. It'll ask you to create an account. So go ahead and do that. For me, I already created an account, so I don't have to do that. Once you create an account, you wanna click this image icon. You wanna open to frame one, and then press open. And as you can see, it's your first frame. And then now you want to go to your end frame, put it to frame two. Now you're going to type in um, what you want your transition to look like. So for me, I want the camera to zoom in to the window to transition to this clip. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So once you type in your prompt, you want to click this arrow icon. Once you click it, it's going to show in a uh, in queue now you just want to wait for it to be done so i'll get back to you guys when it's done all right guys my transition is now done so now i'm going to press download and now what you want to do is go to file and then import and then press file and then you want to import the file you just downloaded put it to the start so what you want to do is you want to right click uh press time and then enable time remapping all the way down to here and then you just want to adjust it to where your frame to where your last frame is so now what you could do is to get rid of this watermark right here you want to pre-comp this and then you want to pre-comp it again and then you want to double click on the pre-comp and you want to go to this pen tool right here and you want to basically just mask the luma text out and then now you want to hit this drop down menu mask uh click inverted and then as you can see this is not what we want so we want to feather this a little bit in content aware fill to get this you could um simply go to window right here it's right here and then you want to click uh, you want to firstly put this to 4 and then you want to click generate fill. Alright guys, so this is what I got now and it's a little nice transition. So you want to go back to your main comp and then now you want to add RSMB. Alright, so now you have this. Alright, so to spice it up, what you can do is you can add a little shake right here. So I'm going to right click, new, adjustment layer, I'm going to put this up so it's above my clip, 
I'm gonna cut it to where I want the um, shake to be. And I'm just gonna get a random shake, so that's good. And now the results is this. In my opinion, sometimes you don't really need a shake. So you could take that off if you want to make it look a little bit seamless. Or you could simply just add exposure to it to make it even more seamless. So that's how you make this AI um, transition, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I hope you learned um, something new from this tutorial. Peace.